Hey, what's up guys? This is Doug with MerchMetrics.com back for another video. I just want to jump into Merch Informer really quickly. I want to show you the quickest and easiest way that I've found to create a list of keywords that I want to work on to find out what's selling and to basically do my niche research um, using Merch Informer. Now, I've done videos in the past where I showed uh, free ways to do research, but really, if I'm going to be working on designs, this is the method that I'm using. Um, I log in to Merch Informer. Um, you can do all of this with the newbie plan. I just wanted to let you know that. That's why I'm showing off the, um, the pricing here. Um, you can get the newbie plan for $9.99 a month. If you use my coupon code, I, I am an affiliate for Merch Informer. Um, if you use my coupon code, you get 20% off. So really, you get uh, Merch Informer for $8 a month on the newbie plan. If you decide later on that you want to upgrade to the professional, I totally understand. It does some cool stuff too, um, but you don't need it. You, you can totally get started with this just using the newbie plan. Um, it's less than two shirt sales a month to pay for it. Um, it, it brought up a, an interesting thought for me because uh, somebody had been asking me in the comments from a previous video, you know, I want to get Merch Informer. Should I get the professional? Should I get the newbie? And I was like, how much are you making with Merch now? Um, you do have to be able to do some niche research in order to make designs that are going to sell. Uh, that I firmly believe that. But if you're not making uh, enough through your merch or your print-on-demand business to pay for the professional uh, plan and also, you know, still be making a profit every month, then don't even consider the the pro plan. You shouldn't you shouldn't be buying it because it's it's not what you need right now. What you need right now is you need to create enough designs to start making some reliable income, and then you can think about upgrading your tools in the future. So. Um, just wanted to go over that really quickly. If you're thinking about subscribing, start with the small plan. Use the discount code. It'll be in the description. You can get started for $8 a month. It's a lot cheaper and easier um, to get started than you think, right? Um, all right, I'm just going to log in, and we're going to do a quick round of niche research. I'm going to log in here. All right, so as soon as we log in, we're greeted with the quick tips. So we can just go ahead and close those from the beginning. Now, the very first thing I always like to do is I like to go to the favorites, go to the product favorites, and take that a second to load, and then add a new category. And I want that category to have the date of whatever day that I am um, creating my list. And that way I know that they're current and I can keep them separated from niche research that I've done in the past. So today is the 26th. I'll go ahead and add that really quickly. And don't forget to hit save here. So I'll go ahead and save that. And you can see I can delete these old lists. I don't I don't keep them. I don't go back and look at them again later. So right now, this is a completely empty category. So if I load this, uh, there won't be anything in it. All right, so now that I have a new category selected, I'm going to go back to my product research, and I'm going to go to Merch Hunter. And this is where I do my research. So um, I don't personally look for designs that are going to be in the very top best-selling shirts on merch I, that's not the sweet spot for me for me i want to be looking for uh shirts around the 1 million um the 1 million bsr range and even in this range you're going to have way more ideas than you can possibly um, create shirts for so not a big deal at all uh, and then i don't put anything in for keywords but i do want to change this to top 500 i want to see as many as possible without having to redo the search or change these numbers in order to get a different range so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'm just going to click search um, i leave the category alone i just leave it on merch by amazon shirts because that's what i'm creating and that's what i want to see go ahead and hit search and you're going to be just presented with a list of um, of designs that fit in this category. I'm going to get 500 or five pages of 100 each um, here in just a second as the search completes. All right. So as we go down here, um, you can see that there is just a list. I can also see the design. And that gives me a good idea if this is something that I think I can compete with. Um, you can see there is a whole lot of white text on a black shirt. It's classic it's something that anyone can create it's super easy to do um, and always sells so if if this is all you feel like you have the skill to create at this point don't worry <laughs> that's what the most of the shirts that are selling on amazon look just like this shirt um, so you can see vaccination shirts are definitely popular still COVID is popular um, so let's say i'm i'm interested in creating a shirt like this one i can click save to favorites 
and it's going to ask me which group I want to save them in. Now, I already deleted these, but obviously the interface hasn't updated yet. I'm going to pick the one I created with today's date. I'm going to hit submit. I wish there was a quicker way to do this, um, but there isn't right now. And normally it's very fast. And you can see here that I've already added a favorite. So as we, as we just scroll through, um, looking for things that we think could be um, good to emulate or um, keywords that we think are um, underserved. So for instance, this is a be a good human. Um, I might not pick this one because I think it's an excellent design or because I think that I like those keywords, but I really like the color scheme. So I'm going to pick that one and I could use a similar color scheme, sort of a pastel -y color scheme on some of my own designs. And I'm just going to keep going down ballet boy. I, I don't think this shirt's very attractive. I don't think that I would necessarily, um, you know, try to design anything that looks like this shirt. However, um, boys who do ballet i mean that's that's a pretty specific niche that there's probably not a lot of competition in and we can check that here in a little bit um as we continue down we got cross drumsticks again super easy to create something better than this design if you ask me um this is an army shirt you want to stay away from um, the military branches um that that can get you in trouble uh, as we keep going down, you can see some of the designs are getting to be a little bit more intense as far as um, what they have going on. There's a lot more clip art. Um, but really, if you look at that, this is a clip art they found somewhere. Probably didn't draw it themselves. And then just added text, white text. And this is just um, simple blue text with uh, an overlay for some... Uh, for, for some uh, texture and that's it and this is just red text and texture so these are all really really easy to create uh, Eiffel Tower that one's cool I'm sure that this is a stock image from somewhere and they just did a little bit to it to make it look cooler on the shirt uh, but let's just go through here and I'll just try and find some things that um, that I think are, are good designs now this one is probably it's too late for this one right this is pretend I'm a green bean I bet you this one is selling so well because it is close to Halloween and this is for people who don't really want their own uh, Halloween costume so it's kind of a funny shirt um, these I'm Emily doing Emily things I mean this one's been overdone to death but you can see it's still selling and there's a million names out there maybe you come up with one that nobody's done before uh, English Bulldogs always popular Pretend, pretend I'm a donkey. Same thing as the other one. Um, this one is just probably selling because people think it's funny for Halloween. Uh, obviously, you can't use the Disney shirts. And as we go through here, you can see uh, there's just some ASCII art. Uh, computer programmer, funny nerd. I mean, if you go back and look for ASCII art from, you know, from the heyday of, of computers, there are a million little ASCII arts that you could recreate or do something um, similar. You can see lots of examples. Uh, this is actually probably a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that one for my favorite list. And like I said, normally this is very fast. The, the pop-up just comes up. It must be my internet is acting up tonight or maybe because I'm recording, the computer's going a little slow. Um, I'm three and I'm digging it. I mean, this one, they probably did create their own graphic, but I mean, you could use just a million different graphics to emulate something like this uh, or you could say I'm a, I'm turning three and I'm a girl who loves um, who loves excavators or something you know I mean there's there's different takes on all of these uh, as we go down I'm just sort of looking for things that I think um, are underserved or things that are gonna be easy for me to to kind of emulate the design um, the be kind that's twice we've seen that i know that's pretty pretty popular niche but um but you can see how popular it is even down in here uh, you know around a million bsr or nine hundred five thousand. uh there's still a lot of them so you can tell that that's very popular here's a dinosaur retro i mean this is just they didn't even they didn't even cut out the dinosaur or make it a mask all they did was put a drawing on top of you know the retro sunset style shirt um with the with the grid here um, you could easily improve this one 
possibly using a different um, dinosaur, possibly, you know, just doing a little more with the actual design itself, you know. Um, maybe incorporating the dinosaur into the color scheme, maybe using a different dinosaur, um, maybe using a different color scheme for the sunset. There's, a, there's a, just a ton of ways to make this into something that is similar but is a lot, you know, better. Possibly using the dinosaur as a mask and then having, you know, it be the center of focus, not this um, the square. It's basically just a square. I mean, it's a square with a dinosaur on it. And I bet you it doesn't print very well either. And now as we keep going down, um, you know, indigenous people's um, day has passed. So this one probably is on the downtrend. And we can actually check that. We can look at the BSR um, average. So yeah, it's actually, um, it's lower than it's average for the past 30 days. But it's probably trending back down, if you ask me. Um, there's some cool color schemes in here. I like this one because of the color scheme, not necessarily because of anything about the design itself. And I'm just as I'm looking just as much at color scheme, design style, um, what kind of images they're using, um, even as much as I'm looking at the design niche and the keywords that are being used. Um, these are ever popular because video games are ever popular, I guess. Um, but you know, this is actually an example of a really good design, something that someone put some time into. Uh, so we're just going to move on. It's not something I would use, but um, you could definitely improve something like this. Look how much text they put on here. I'm sure you could change this phrase, change this design, and make it a little more succinct. Just use less words. Um, this one is a crypto design i mean it's it's pretty good it's, it looks like kind of a nasa um one of the nasa patches for one of the missions it's, it's pretty cool looking um but a lot of these um you got to be careful with some of the cryptos because there are companies behind them and they do have trademarks so so you have to be a little bit careful on some of these some of them are completely open source and there is no trademark or anything some of them are so just be careful with that um funny broken arm shirt. I mean, there's a lot, you could come up with a lot of funny things to say, to make someone feel better if they had a broken arm or a broken leg. And this shirt is being purchased most of the time as a gift for somebody who hurt themselves, not by the person themselves. So if you can think up something funny that would also make them feel better if they were gifted this shirt, that's a good one, right? Um, as we keep going down, I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to go through. Um, I want to kind of show you what it looks like once you get your combination together. Um, you have the list of your favorites and then you want to actually start doing your designing. So let me do uh, just a couple from the next page and then we'll go look at what the favorites look like after you've created it. All right, scrolling down here again. Again, look at this. If I wanted the government in my uterus, <laughs> blank, a senator. Um, Obviously, didn't read the shirt before I started reading it on camera. However, um, white text, black shirt, right? It's the message that's important. It's not the design. And depending on what you're creating, that might be true for what you're creating too. Uh, Civil War uniform art. This is just a, um, an image that's in the uh, public domain, probably created, you know, 100 years ago and now being used by whoever found this uh, on a shirt. Um, and it's cool, probably doesn't print great, but just an example of um, something that's selling for above standard pricing um, because it's difficult to emulate, right? You have to know where to look for these um, old photos uh, or old images, you know, that are now in the public domain because they were published so long ago. But that's a good example. Uh, something that has good and it has good ratings 11 ratings so i mean that's something that's selling so historical uh, military type uh, designs definitely popular and I'll, I'll look for one more and then we'll go ahead and i'll show you what the favorites look like uh, i know I, ha I did a video in the past about how i lay out my work my artboard and how i place all my images around kind of around where I'm working so I can kind of see everything at once. I want to see the color schemes. I want to be able to sample the colors from my sample images and then 
you know, I'm, I'm not trying to create these designs. That's something I have to keep saying over and over. I'm not trying to create any of these designs. I'm looking for what things are selling, what things are highly rated, um, how they're doing it. So this is like a green on like kind of a tan shirt. It's got a, they definitely did an outline. It's got some, um, some banners on it. It's, it's a well laid out graphic design. And this is the kind of thing that I want to see, right? I want to see things like that. Like how much better could you make a design like this by just incorporating some of the things you're seeing here? And I'm not saying that you should do that either. I'm saying if you can come up with a second funny saying that's similar to this, like before you ask me a question, do you know my hourly rate or something, you know? But then you use a design sort of similar to this to like lay it out and make it look more attractive can definitely give you um, better chances to make some sales and not be copying. You're completely original because you came up with the design yourself. Um, tie dye has been very popular. Um, these are crazy easy to make these designs where you're just using, you're just creating a mask out of the text. Very, very easy to make. You just need a vector um, to put behind it, a vector um, tie dye. And I can show you guys how to do that in a future video. Let me know in a comment down below if you're interested in that. All right, I think that's probably enough. This is probably a Halloween design. Um, you know, it, somebody actually spent some time on that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save that one because how many other things could you do that kind of like are kind of creepy and spooky? Maybe incorporating witches or you know something else. Probably too late for Halloween now, obviously, because we only have five days left until Halloween. There's no way these shirts would ship in time, but it is cool. All right, so now that I've gone through, I found a bunch of designs that I think are good enough. Um, to inspire me to create my own. I'm going to go back to my products favorites here. Which, I, again, I apologize. This is taking so long to load these. There we go. I'm going to look at my list. And then from here, you can see that I've got a picture. I can see, um, you know, not necessarily as much information as I could when I was doing the search. But, again, I've already done the hard work, which is looking for what's selling, finding things that are, that I, that inspire me and that, um, the keywords that I want to use. So now I can just put this on another screen or I can cut these out and place them inside of my art, artboard, like I've done in the past on, on other videos. It just gives me a good, good idea of what I want to create or the niches I want to go for. And if I'm going to do this, I'm going to take, um, something like this. Uh, it's, it's about, mowing the lawn and teasing your dad because he's, um, you know, takes such good care of his lawn or because he takes such poor care of his lawn, right? Um, you could totally come up with a million things just like this. Um, maybe you use a different color scheme. Maybe you try to lay it out like one of these other designs that we think are laid out a little better. Uh, but this is, this is how you, I organize my inspiration. That's how I keep track of what has been, um, selling. Oops. I'll get rid of these again and save it. Maybe I forgot to save it. Um, and it also gives you some inspiration for like color schemes and, and things that you can do to make your designs better. So I'm going to leave it at that. It kind of gives you an idea of how I do my research and where to go um, inside of Merchant Former to create a favorite list and then view your favorite list once you're done. Um, this is the method that I use. I think it's the most effective, quickest, easiest, you know, what did that take me? Um, 10 or 15 minutes to do, um, research into like 11 different niches. And that's probably enough for me to create, you know, a hundred designs. If I wanted to start, um, you know, I'd, I'd go in and I'd create 10 or 15 different designs for each of these niches. And I just really try to like fill them up get my stuff out there and see if I can get, um, get some sales. And then sales tell you even more about what's selling for that particular customer. And then you can kind of tweak things, even make more double down on things that are working. Um, try to think of secondary niches that you can incorporate into the main niche. Um, it, it just, it's really about being creative, coming up with your own ideas based on what you already have validated as is selling. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I will catch you in the next video.